Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 19 of my King Tiger and Berg Panzer diorama build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That would be brilliant. Thank you. To begin with, we're going to be giving some parts a quick wash in my homebrew wash. So, without further ado, let's crank up that speedy uppy thing and crack on. I've managed to lose a part. It's not the first and it's probably not going to be the last. Anyway, it's very similar to this part here. So I'm going to have to scratch build one in a bit. Anyway, let's crack on with the washes. That's those parts done, we can leave those to dry. Now to put the supports into the hull. Ah, 
and back to washers. Gantz Noya. That is looking good. Anyway, so that's the washes done. Now to do some cleaning up of the medical boxes and get them glued in. So let's crack on. Now some test fitting. Okay, that's a tad tight and that's gonna need a bit of fettling. Also, I should have left them to dry first. The medkits that is. So, whilst they're drying, let's do a bit of cleaning up of the wash on the lower hull. I don't know why, but I'm having a bit of a squirrel moment here. I should be concentrating on cleaning up the whole internals, but for some reason I've got to be in my bonnet about this part of its fitment. Don't know why. I need to put the drive shafts in first before doing this, but hey ho, we've all been there. Let's just crack on. Finally, I've got the fitment sorted and it's at this point that I realised that I needed to put the drive shafts in first and I hadn't even gotten painted. Well, that moves us nicely into spraying the drive shafts. Did you like my segue? There we go, all done. I have to say, I do like these Alclad paints. They go on a lot smoother than others. Anyway, next we're going to move on to some of the construction of the upper hill. I'm still procrastinating about doing the rear section of the lower hull, hence I'm starting on the upper hull. So we've got that bit done and put to one side to dry. 
Next I need to cut out the drivers and radio man's viewports. That's the viewing ports cut out. Now to crack on and get part of the top hole cleaned up. All cleaned up, fitment is good and ready for some glue. Now we've got that glued in place, let's pop some of these small parts on the top. and hold for two minutes. That's looking good and this seems like as good a place as any to stop. So thank you for watching episode 19. If you want to see what happens in episode 20, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.